I see you when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I know when you've been bad. So check your mail. For some of it is black. Oh, you better watch out. I've tapped your phone lines. Be you will be receiving some black mail soon. Someone's getting blackmailed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I don't know from where from what part of my mind that came from, but <laughs> there there's a little guy on one of my shoulders saying, "Hey, that'll make a great intro," and the other guy's like, "No, don't. That's like the worst idea ever." And the other guy was like, "Bro, do you even YOLO?" And I was like, "I'll do it." Yeah, I. That one guy on my shoulder, I always listen to him. Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we concluded our business in Nippon 100 years in the past by uh, del by rescuing Lika from the jaws of Orochi. And we also got a sweet, awesome new weapon. This time, we're going to be bringing said Lika over to Leochi Lake in Ezufuji for her to pray for the volcano to erupt and warm the frigid land of Kamui. As it's the day of darkness where there's a solar eclipse that will pretty much just freeze the entire area. Something is, uh, on a different note, something is very special about this episode. Something that you're hearing right now, something that I'm doing, is a lot different from what has ever been a thing before. My voice sounds very, very good. Um, if you listen, you'd have to listen to it very, very closely to hear the difference, but uh, me speaking, for the most part, I feel better about me speaking, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, you, you're probably like, wait, is this like the same exact thing that you've done before where you sit us down and just talk about some technical thing you've done, some improvement, like in Skyward Sword Episode 6 and the first episode of Okami and other stuff? I'm like, no, no, this has never happened before, and this is very, very new and different and awesome. I have not had this feeling for two years. Well, 23 months. Um, my braces are gone. Yeah, I, w I decided to just stop beating around the bush. Get right to the brass tacks. Because my braces are not on my, my body anymore. They're, they're completely gone. And so me speaking feels so much better for me. And I've noticed that I have less trouble talking around words, getting my mouth around them. So I think me reading the dialogue will be a lot smoother. Now watch me drink, jinx it, but I, for the most part, I'm pretty confident that there is going to be a marked improvement. So the merchant's still here, so let's go ahead and talk to him before we do anything else. Let's skip his text. Actually, no. He's saying something unique here. Lika, you're, you're safe. I thought the demons got you. I didn't think we'd see you again. But here you are. This is great. Well, you better get on to gone. You better get on with the volcanic incantation right away, unless you want to go buy something first. That is, yes, I would like to do some shopping. And there is an example of me jinxing it. Uh, we only have two things to sell: Kutani pottery, which is worth twelve thousand yen, and etched glass, which is twenty. That's pretty go good. Good. Uh, next, I have nothing to buy, so I'll just skip it. I have five hundred thousand yen, and I will probably be needing it soon. Soon. No, legit, I will be needing it soon. So, let's go ahead and go up here. There is no shortcut, we just have to run up here and go to Leochi Lake. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I was gonna say, let's use the skip travel location to do the thing that I couldn't do before, but... Uh, honestly, skip travel locations are probably probably disabled right now. So, <laughs> skip that. Let's, let's just go straight to Leochi Lake. And also, question... How is it... <laughs> How is it nighttime right now? Like, there's a solar eclipse going on. The sun is out. That's the whole thing of this. How is it... <laughs> How is it nighttime? Okay, there's the sun in full glory. And then... There's the sun. Okay, that seems like an oversight on my part, because it should be locked into one time. One specific time. It should not be able to turn nighttime. That seems like a big oversight. Sheesh, what's up with this nasty blizzard? I mean, where in the world does this thing come from? Well, we're getting closer, so we're going to find out. 
Let's see. Where are we supposed to be bringing Lika? The altar? No? Maybe? Huh? I thought everyone would be gathering at the altar. But nobody's here. Not even Old Man Kamu or Samical. We can't make Lika pray here all alone in this weather. Aw oh, man, where in the world did everyone go? Uh, easiest way to get up there is, is just by using the path. Also, Lika's kind of... <laughs> Look at Lika! Okay, I'm gonna zoom out here and bring the camera down. Look at Lika when I jump. <laughs> she floats above Matarasu. She gets some airtime there, that's awesome. Can I run fast, please? Yeah, there. That's, that's really funny. She kind of, she just kind of floats there and hovers. I guess she, she is a little bit magical after all. Oh, there's the source of the blizzard. That would explain why it's gotten so bad. That was not like that before. And this weapon looks so good. It's amazing. So, um, the focus for this episode actually won't be story. We're going to be doing some other things as well. I just want to take care of this before we do that. What's everyone doing here? Hey, I brought Lika, everyone. So what's up with this nasty blizzard? It's... It's the day of darkness. This day comes once every 100 years. Now it's upon us again. That's why the monsters are making the blizzard even fiercer. And Oki, how could he be so ir irresponsible at a time like this? He destroyed the gate here on his way to the Waoku Shrine. What? I tried to stop him, but he was just waving the Sukutane sword around. And he was through the gate before I could do a thing. Now Kamui could freeze over whether the eclipse comes or not. Oki suddenly disappeared after we, we defeated Orochi. Never thought he'd come here and do something like this. I bet he just wants to steal all the glory for himself. No. Oki's not like that. I understand why he took the Divine Kutune Sword. He was trying to do what was right for the village. When the two demons got violent at the shrine of on Ezufuji, it was Oki who came to Kemu's rescue. Huh? I thought Samikol was the one who saved Old Man Kemu. Oki acted as bait so that Kemu and Samikol could escape. They survived because Oki acted as their shield and fought for them. Oki is the strongest among us, but even so, he was no match for them. He was lucky to come out alive. Wow, that's quite a feat surviving a battle against two demons. But he was angry that he couldn't defeat them. So he took the sword and left the village to fight again. I know it's unforgivable that he stole the sword like that, but he was just trying to do the right thing. All he cares about is doing what's best for the village. It won't be long before the eclipse makes the sun disappear. If the volcanic incantation doesn't start Ezufuji erupting, Kamui will get colder until it freezes over completely. Please, Lika. We're relying on you to make this work. Oki always told me what kind of Oina he wanted me to become. He told me to be a good Oina and use my power to help everyone. Do you think it would help everyone if I prayed like I always do? Who cares about the stupid blizzard? I'm gonna pray for our mountain to come back to life. That's my girl. Let's go, my little warrior. If you don't start the incantation soon, it will be too late. From how Tus Tuskel acted right then, it almost seemed like she is Lika's mother. I wouldn't. It, I actually wouldn't be surprised if she is. I, oh wait, no, because that would mean she was also Kai's mother. I'm not sure if that would work. There's another reason. Another reason why Oki left uh, went off with the Divine Kutane Sword. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens when Kutane glows silver. Legend has it that the power that the sword has the power to ward off evil. That's why Oki le left the village with it. He was going to use the sacred sword to fight the monsters alone. Durr. The cold air from the mountains will freeze our people to death unless I can shut this gate. Well, we can't shut the gate. However, we can go inside, which is what the game wants us to do. But i that's not what we're doing. Hey, Gramps, Gramps, don't overdo it now. Those demons will do you in if you don't cut this out. Leave me be. If I'm not able to recite the volcanic incantation, then I'll utter the prayer to shut the gate. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be working, does it? No, it does not. Can I interrupt you and kill us all? Oh, my poor back! No, okay, I thought he was going to say something about us, like, dooming us all because he interrupted the prayer. Okay, so, 
Um, the rest of this episode is not going to be spent doing story, like I said before. It is going to be spent doing important things that should be should be done before we enter that area. Um, it is not like it isn't one of the things where once you pass through there, you can never return, and you know that kind of thing. Like the game's about to end, but it's something that I would like to go in there having some of the stuff we're going to be getting this episode. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there are some monkeys here. And the monkeys give us a piddling amount of praise, which we don't even need praise anymore. And then there's this iron rock. The iron rock is covering a cave, which gives us a little bit of an indication on as to what this cave contains. If I can jump in. It is the last, as far as I know, Nirvana cave. There's a lot of praise here. So we have 27. Let's see what we end up with. 27. And then I'll probably give us like 30 something. And then there's this. Let's dig it up. And let's go and dig up this one and get a two for the price. Actually, let's try to get all of them. Just because, you know, <laughs> we're actually running out of things in the game to, to bloom. So I might as well get creative with them. Let's see. If I power slash this tree. Sorry, tree. We can line these up. And get a bloom. Yeah, bloom. I got 90 from that. So we got over 100 praise from just this cave and we have a divine spring he says the same thing every time so let's go in and throw in 120,000 yen three times have I made have I pointed this out that you have to give the max donation e or offering each time I don't I think I, I have done it I've mentioned it but I didn't mentioned that for all all of these um, divine springs that's what you have to do I mean you can offer the smaller increments and still get up to the same amount I mean it does log it it's not like you're wasting it or anything but it is just easier to do the max amount three times nope wow as soon as I say that <laughs> as soon as I say that my thumb twitches and I press a uh uh Let's see. Math. Uh, we can do this, and then we can do that one more time. Really? <laughs> there. One one more increment. <laughs> I'm like, it's just easier to do the, the, the third offering multiple times. It, it, that's, that's how you do it, except for the fact that I mess it up. Mess it up or not, though, we have a date with Takagami. Ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Only a heart as pure as your own can pierce the darkness. I, Takagami, can sense purity and light flowing from within you. Thanks to you, my power has once again reached its peak. You can now easily slash through anything you desire. The powers of Power Slash 3 are now ours. The bite of Power Slash got even more powerful. Does that mean you can cut even harder things than before? Boy, I can't wait till you try it out. Now, this is not really useful from a utility standpoint. I mean, Power Slash 2 really did it. Was it? What's cuts the bill? I don't know. I was trying to make a pun there, but there's a pun in there somewhere. I just can't find it. Um, it, do it, does, it does fulfill what you need it to do. But Power Slash 3 will allow us to get a lot more praise from the Crystal Rocks, or Diamond Rocks, or Rainbow Zirconia that we've been seeing scattered across Nippon. We've seen them actually from very, very early on in the game, so we're going to be backtracking a lot this episode to nab those. Uh, that being said, let's see, does it glow differently? No, it's still orange. Uh, but it's also very, very powerful in battle, which is the main draw of this. It is super powerful in battle. So you... You know, it's it's a technique that let's see, it costs one, what? Yeah, it costs one ink pot, and it does a ton of damage, as opposed to cherry bomb, uh, where its upgrades they still use they still use one thing, but you have to take a bunch of time to do this, and then it pretty much uses three to achieve what that does. So this is really this is really where it's at. Of course, we also have thunder edge, which I need to compare the damage here between. This? No. Can I please? Wait. There. Wait. Once I get the light-colored stuff, light-colored. There it is. Between this 
and that. So yeah. But yeah, then there there's also this water, which I need to point out. I actually found out you can no. You can actually No, I didn't mean to do that either. You can actually put lily pads in it. So it's actually real water. It but you can't go in it, which is sad. It sad face. I can't I can't go in it, which is sad because it's it's like rave water. It's it's go it's doing the thing. It has a party going on. It's like boom chicka boom boom chicka boom chicka boom. I can't. I can't beatbox. I'm sorry. But I got the party going on as I'm out of the cave and I can power slash this rock and see what it gives me. It actually gives me 50 praise. How do I know that? I've played the game before. What? 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 That that was beyond that was beyond bad. <laughs> I apologize for everything. Just everything. Seriously. That was that was bad. I can't I can't rap. Although I did have the hand motions going on because with the I was doing the I was doing the record scratch thing. That was that was pretty cool. Or the DJ turntables. Yeah, that's what they're called, turntables. But speaking of rapping and stuff, we have Leek over here doing doing stuff, showing off her moves. Boom! She should be... There should be a DDR Okami thing. That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, I will not apologize for that because <laughs> my rendition of Whatever that was actually really fit with her dancing. So, Easton will stop us here, but he's not actually preventing us from leaving. Skip travel locations are opened up to us now, and we can go anywhere we please. If those demons keep this up and the sun never comes out again, it'll be the end of Kamui and even Nippon itself. Even little Lika is trying as hard as she can to survive. I could certainly see her trying, trying her hardest. So, um, what we're actually doing now is going back to Ezufuji. Um, why? Because skip travel locations are now opened up to us for the first time in a while. So we can actually get that stray bead in in Ezufuji. Excuse Miss Warp. And I know this episode is kind of running high on time, but it, it'll start picking up once we do the some of the main things I would like to do. Oh, another thing is um, you... I, just as a reminder, I am still getting praise um, because it gives me money. It will be giving me money later on. And I want to show this off. Um, and also, from this this secret skip travel location, it gives us that treasure that, that we just got. And also, a silver pocket watch, which is the most ex most pricey um, treasure in the game. It will give you 30,000 yen. This ritzy little number displays its own enhanced version of time. Aw, it's like a it's like a Pikmin treasure description. And then finally, it gives us a <laughs> if I can wave dash over to it, oh a, a stray bead. Seriously, the ice fixes in this game are wacky. Next, um, we actually want to go to an area that we haven't been to in a while. Actually it hasn't been that long, but just stick stick with actually, wow. <laughs> it has been one episode since we were last in this area. Shinshu Field. Yeah, we're going back to Shinshu Field. And seriously, we were there last episode. I forgot about that. Um, because there are two things that are open to us. Oh, how wonderful it is to hear that beautiful music. And no, I don't want it to be nighttime. Do not give me that chant right when it's night, right when I'm enjoying the music. Ah, <sighs> isn't it nice? It's so relaxing and calming. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Oh, and also, it is daytime, but it is actually dark right now. Um, the reason being is once the day of darkness comes, all of Nippon turns dark. So this is affecting everything, not just Kamui. Um, what I would like to do now is, in Shinshu Field, there are the last two stray beads are now available for us to get. This first one, we have to go to Tama in order to acquire. Uh, wait. 
that... Is that blowifiable? No, it's not. We already got it. Oh, the music! I forgot about the music! Dun 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 Tama. Another... Uh, what was my voice for him? I totally forgot my what my voice for him was, and it was really fun. Um... I totally forgot it. Oh yeah, I remember! I remember! Okay. Another year's festival has come and gone. Nom, nom, nom. I'm all burned out. <coughs> I wonder if I'll ever be as fired up as that again. <coughs> you know, so fired up your heart won't stop pounding. Blam, nom, 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 nom. Sheesh, this guy's all washed up. Wow, it's been a long time since the festival and he's this washed up. My time's passed now. <coughs> Those days when my heart wouldn't stop pounding. Pull yourself together, man. Ami, do one of your big bangs. Make it a real big one. Okay. That isn't enough. My time's passed now. He's he's dying, guys. <laughs> we need to use the defibul defibrillators? Is that the name? If it is, I'm really surprised that I had that name off the top of my head. The thing that shocks you in the chest. But no, actually, I am not that far off with that with that assessment. We would need to give him a shock of his life. Two cherry bombs. Oh, was that a double whammy? <laughs> it was definitely a double whammy. Um, amazing. <laughs> 30 praise. Oh, and he's back on his feet. It's coming back to me now. Nom nom nom. No, oh, the old bam bam of my heart pounding. It's all. <laughs> I've come up with a better voice for this guy. It has the attributes of the first and also better. It's coming back to me now, guys. Nom nom. The old bam 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 of my heart's pounding. <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> He's like hyper. <laughs> now I'm wondering what will happen if we step it up again. We did three. We did two cherry bombs then. What will happen if we do three or not? I was ill-informed. We had to leave and come back. It's no, it's no good. That doesn't do anything for me at all. I, it needs more bam, bam, bam. Nom, nom, nom. So he doesn't have enough bam, bam, bam. That seems very problematic, because, like, we gave him a lot of BAM there. He just needs more BAM. So... BAM. One. BAM. Two. No. Not. BAM. One. And two. BAM. One. There. BAM. Two. Okay. Now for the big whammy. BAM. Three. Whoa. Was that a triple whammy? No, nah, no. Nah. Unbelievable. 50 praise. Like we need it, but 50. It's coming back to me. I'm Tama. That it. That's it. Tama, the flaming pyrotechnist. <laughs> Thanks, pup. You rekindled my fiery spirit. <laughs> no, no, no. I want you to have the speed I found around here in return. I'm channeling my best Jim Carrey in, you know, when he did the thing where he got the stray bead. Okay then, I can't sit around here go getting senile. I've got to come up with some ideas for next year's festival. Nom nom nom. Gah ha ha, it takes a while for me to get back into gear. But once I'm feeling all on all cylinders, nothing can stop me. I have some great new fireworks lined up for next year's festival. Nom nom nom. That is our... Farewell. Tutama. Ha. Let's, let's give one last whammy. For the hero. That was Tama. Now, One. Last. Whammy. Triple finish! Once again, I do know that this episode is getting pretty long, but I 
I didn't really find uh, a way to be able to fit this into two episodes, so we're going to be doing it all in one. I hope that's fine. Um, there isn't much left, and the stuff that is left is going to be sped up, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so, where we need to go is to one of the first characters we ever met in the game. We haven't talked to him in a long time, and honestly, you would not think that he's part of a quest, because his role seems fulfilled. But... He is indeed, uh, he does indeed have a quest for us. Earthenware is like a mirror into the soul, man. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Check this out, I just finished firing up my first piece. My first vase, the Azura Neck. I love flowers. Single flower vases are my specialty. You can have it if you like, bro dog. Okay, I, I actually with this <laughs> with this dialogue and this fun voice, I'm not even sure if I will be speeding up, but I probably will. I'll pr actually instead of speeding up, it would be better if I just cut ahead because I don't want to miss his great dialogue and I don't want to speed up because. I mean, the great dialogue, man. It's it's far out, bruh. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at the that accent. But anyway, there are these little there are these monuments all over Shinshu Field. And they serve a purpose. If you bring the earthenware to them, you'll rejuvenate them. When before it was cracked, now this traveler's monument is up and running and it's it's very beautiful. Check out the guardian statue now. It looks great thanks to you. See even the guardian smiling. Uh, is it really? Oh, it is! It is smiling! We made the statue happy! The couple... The couple's cheerful! Okay, so that's... That's... Like, totally... That's totally reward enough. But... And also the the five praise. I mean, man. That'll totally get us almost on the way to... To full... Stuff. Even though we already have it. But monies. It'll... Just further money. But no... No, really. It's actually... We should do it. And also... Wait a minute. Wait, what? When and how did I get 500,000 yen? I spent, like... I spent a lot of money. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I guess even wolves appreciate fine art. Okay, so what we have to do now is change it to nighttime, meaning the music will be gone. Music gone. Now, he is gone. But if we change it back to day... He'll be back here chopping wood, and because a full day has passed, su stuff has happened. Still looking after that first vase I gave you, buddy? I've come up with one that's even better. Check it out, man! My second vase, the indigo neck. My potter's intuition is starting to come back to me, man! You can have it if you like! Thank you, bro. You're the best-ish. I say ish because, like, Tom... Really, Tama is pretty awesome. So uh, next, this this vase can go right nearby. I'm not actually going to cut the c cut to this because these ones are close. It can go to here, and they can be smiling. They're smiling now, and we got ten praise. And oh, we did. Oh my word! I didn't notice that. Oh my wow. Okay, so now that we filled up everything, all praise gives us money. I didn't notice that. I thought just any praise past uh, past 400 when we'd normally fill it up would give us money, but no. Any praise past full, past full stats will give you money. So I've actually made like 100, what is it, 100,000 yen this episode? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, he, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna cut to his next thing. The white connoisseur returns! Don't worry, just a nickname I cooked up for you, man. Look, I just finished my third piece. The third base? The rust neck. See that sober or shading? An expert like you knows what it means, huh? We're two of a kind, you and me. Here, take it. Thank you. I'll take it. Goodbye. I love you. You're awesome. He's really... He's actually kind of a... He's a, he's a simple soul, and I like that. And here is the next one. Right here on the map. Smile. 
and prays for monies. Let's see how much monies it gives us. 15,000? Yeah, okay, wow. Oh my... That gave us 15,000 yen. 15 prays equaled 15,000 yen. That's insane. That is... Oh my word, insane. The money from this. I, I, I don't think I've ever gotten full praise stats. Actually, no, I have. But I never noticed the money output from them. And it is giving me a lot of money. In case you're wondering how many vases he has, the exact number is five. Hey, white connoisseur, your nose never lets you down, huh? You're just in time to check out my fourth masterpiece, man. My fourth vase, the auburn neck. Getting the color just right was a challenge even for me. Go ahead, take it. Do with it what nature tells you to. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit hard because I don't know where the monument is. So, yeah, I'll cut to that. The fourth monument is down here. And it's a rose. That's nice. Where is Amaterasu picking these roses? I want to find out. And that will give us 20,000 yen, right? Yes, indeed it did. Twen so, one praise equals, uh, equals 1,000 yen. Wow. Hey, is that? Can it be? Yeah, it's him. It's that guy. Hey! Like, don't be so loud, man! No need to disrupt nature's harmony with a loud voice. You don't need to squeal like a rat for me to hear you. Did he just call me a rat? Still, getting excited about my next masterpiece is only natural. And so now, gulp, allow me to unveil my greatest creation. The pure neck. Well, see that irresistible charm of its naive simplicity? It's so great, like, I don't even know what to do with it. Here, white connoisseur, you look after it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And all, all from us ridding that curse zone that was containing his kiln. And he gave me all this. It's... It's very kind. You're a very kind man. Bless you. I want to talk to him again. He says the same thing. There is a curse zone right here. Um, while I was looking for the, the thing that... Or not a curse zone. There was a demon gate that I had never cleared out, so... I did, thinking that maybe the uh, monument I'm looking for was underneath it, but alas, it was not. But I gave, got a lot of money from that. Really? I was I was trying to come back from the from the cut, but if you want to fight, I will gladly kill you all in one hit. Just die. Seriously, leave me alone. Hey guys, I'm I'm back. I looked for about I don't know five to ten minutes for it and I couldn't find it so I was like okay I'll consult the guide and I'm honestly I'm a little bit surprised I didn't look here sooner or uh, at all uh, if you go down here you'll see that the map transition is actually gone you can no longer go to the moon cave which is really strange uh, if there's nothing here but there is the last guardian statue is right here I have Really surprised I didn't check, but... <sighs> really, pal. Pal is clueless sometimes. So th there's the va last uh, last base, and also, we've made so much money this episode. Um, something I should note. You can... You can um, bring all of the Nameless Man's vases to their, to their homes, except the last one. Um, but... All, uh, what? Ugh, I can't talk. You can bring all of the all of the four to their homes um, as soon as his kiln is restored. However, he will not make the fifth one until after you have brought Lika to Waoku Shrine. I know it's kind of it's a little bit weird why that would be a prerequisite since it has nothing to do with anything. But yeah, it's really strange. Um, and also, you know, of course, it won't appear until after you defeat the Order Chief. So let's go ahead and change it to daytime. 
and then talk with this guy because all of his vases are in their in spots that people can enjoy them. Hey, Mr. Man. So, how's my best ever vase doing, white connoisseur? I guess I shouldn't bother asking, huh? I'm sure you found the perfect place for it, friend. Let me give you something to say thanks. There's a stray bead. It's trippy, man. You know, I'm not sure that vase was even real. I don't think I have what it takes to make another like that. The lifestyle of a master potter isn't an easy one, bro. But that's exactly why I became one. The real challenge ha the real challenge has like only just started. Back to work. There it is. We got the stray bead. The last stray bead of Shinshu Field. In fact, if we go over here and scroll to our our guide thing, you will see that we have like no stray beads left. Let's see, 79. Which one is that? I know this is a little bit weird for me to be looking at this up during an episode, but I'm doing it. 79. Oh, I know what that one that one is. That that one is um the the Devil Gate Trial Cave. It's not really spoilers because you know we're going to be doing that. That's the Devil Gate Trial Cave. That's um pa Yosh Pet. One more in Pongton. Wait, one more in Pongton? Really? We Okay, I'm not sure the prerequisites on, on that. We may be doing that next episode. I have no idea. And then three more in an area that we have not been in. This episode, this Let's Play is coming to an end, guys. There aren't a lot of episodes left. So, I will see you guys next time. Um, next time we're going to be getting the rest of the Crystal Rocks, because those contain a lot of praise and actually a lot of money for us. If you consider each Crystal Rock gives us 50 praise. The, the money you get from praise is 1,000 yen per uh, one unit of praise. So we're going to be getting way more than 50,000 yen. We're probably going to be getting a couple, maybe 100,000, no, a couple hundred thousand or more. So you can look forward to that. I have no, I have no concern for money anymore. Seriously, it's, I did not know Praise gave you that much. So I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays, like this one, are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, comment and tell me how I could make next episode so that you would like it. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.